Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 14.1 and 2, Conclusion, Graphing Trig Functions. We need to graph all six trig functions. Which ones have we done? Which ones are left? We still need to do tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Let's do secant. Well, as I'm fond of saying, I can't do secant. However, I can do cosine. So let's do cosine. We have an amplitude of 1, a period of 2 pi. Vertical shift of 0 and a horizontal shift of 0. Up 1 and down 1. Four tick marks. Dot in our upper and lower bounds. Label our x axis. And put in our dots. It's cosine. So we do that. However, since I'm not actually doing cosine, I'm doing secant. I dot it in. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So it gets reflected across the outer bounds, the 1 and the negative 1. And as we know from our unit circle work, there are undefined answers for secant and cosecant. So we end up with a graph that looks like this. It makes a u at pi, and it makes half a u at 0 and half a u at 2 pi. These are asymptotes. Sometimes you'll be asked where the asymptotes, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, that sort of thing. And we have to go back here and fix the amplitude. We don't write the 0, we write none. There is no amplitude. It goes on and on forever up and on and on forever down. We could do range, we could do domain. You'll have to be intelligent enough to be prepared to answer those questions when asked. I'm not going to cover them now. I'm more concerned that you know how to graph. But notice, secant and cosecant are no different than sine and cosine. You're just finishing off a little bit differently. Everything else is the same. So let's do a big ugly one. Now, I'm going to write the amplitude as none, even though I just wrote it as you know, 3. I'm going to write this in and say sine, because otherwise I'm worried I'll forget. Period, 2 pi over 2, vertical shift, 1, horizontal shift, pi over 2, to the right. And it goes up 1, and then it goes up and down 3 from there, even though we technically don't have an amplitude. Pi, half pi is pi over 2, half of that is pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. Sine starts in the middle and it goes down because it's negative. Dot it in to tell me where I'm going. Asymptotes, where it hits the midline. Yes, I have to write over that. Change color so you can see our actual final graph, which is in green.
done. Secant and cosecant are, are challenging. They're an extra layer over what are very challenging problems to begin with, but they're not earth-shatteringly different. They really aren't. So as I said, the amplitude for secant and cosecant, none. If you are more comfortable writing, like I did on the first one, amplitude is two, and then coming back later and writing none, it's not a bad, not a bad idea. It can help you to graph it properly. But these are all the same. No change. Now life gets challenging because this is totally different. Let's make a quick unit circle, label as many points as we can. Zero, pi over four, pi over two, three pi over four, I'm not going to continue unless I have to. 1, 0, 0, 1, root 2, over 2, root 2, over 2, negative root 2, over 2, root 2, over 2, and negative 1, 0. Sign here is 0. Sign here equals 1. Sign here is undefined. So let's graph it. We'll use four tick marks. We'll label 1 and negative 1. But there are no more horizontal dotted lines. We are going to start at 0. We're going to go up to 1. And then we hit an asymptote. This is at pi, so this is at pi over 2. Pardon me. Knew there was a mistake there. This is at pi over 2. This is at pi over 4. Now we go back and we fill in. This is 3 pi over 4. Well, we know it hits w negative 1. And this is pi. We know it's undefined. Sign is undefined. Sorry, is 0. So we connect these, and we see that it's doing something like that. That's it, believe it or not. Because over here, it's going to do the same thing. There's going to be another asymptote out here at 3 pi over 2. And that piece is the same as that piece. So it's repeating. I'll draw this in just for the fun of it. This would be 5 pi over 4. That is tangent. Cotangent hits at the same spots where it's 1, but it's flipped. Cotangent has asymptotes where the green lines are being drawn. And the reality is you just need to memorize these. It takes some time. It's not easy. I always go back to the unit circle remembering that tangent at 0 is 0, and cotangent at 0 is undefined, hence the asymptote. But you need to keep this. When graphing it, all you need is one cycle for me. Your teacher might do something different, so watch out. So how do we graph? Two cotangent plus one. Amplitude 
if you feel like it, do the, it's two, but then you're going to cross it out and write none, because it goes up and down forever. Period is just pi. In this case, there's a one there in front of the theta. So pi. So when you do your tick marks, you still do four. You just go pi, pi over two, pi over four, three pi over four. Now I'm going to label this as two. Oh no, I'm not. I forgot about the vertical shift. Let's finish what we're doing. Vertical shift equals one. Horizontal shift equals pi over two to the right. Cotangent, you'll have forgot, cotangent does this. So I gotta be ready for that. We gotta go up one. And then we have to go up two from there. So here's our midpoint line. I'm gonna dot this one in just to keep it straight. And then at pi over four, we hit here. We hit zero there. We have an asymptote. I nearly forgot I'm doing tangent. I've got to remember. That's still good. We have an asymptote here. And then we have an asymptote at pi. We're going to hit zero here. We're going to hit negative one here. There's the front part, and there's the bottom part. And that's cotangent. This is tricky. It's not easy. One more for tangent. Change the period on you, so watch out. Rewrite this, negative 3 tangent 2 theta minus 3 halves plus 2. Amplitude, again, Three, but it's really none. Watch out for the negatives. Going to flip it upside down. Vertical shift equals two. Period equals two pi over two equals pi. Horizontal shift. I'm going to throw a pi in there. I'm going to change the problem a little bit. Put a pie in there just for the fun of it. This is going to be a mess. Up two. Three more. Tangent does this. There's negative tangent, so everything gets flipped. Let's put our midline in. And we got to dot it because we're going to shift it. Holy moly, this is hard. So instead of going up, it comes down. And it hits here, here, and an asymptote. But I don't even know if I want to put the asymptote in since everything's going to shift. Yeah, I'll dot it in in blue. I'll cheat and use a different color. It's going to be really hard for you if you don't have a color. Oops. It's dotted. And this is pi. So this is pi over 2. Ooh, and I made a mistake. It's supposed to be pi over 2. So this is pi over 2. This is pi over 4. This is pi over 8. 1, 2, 3 pi over 8. And this does that. Then this does that and then there's an asymptote here that's terrible so I have to go back and think about tangent tangent goes up there and then it comes up here well, I'm gonna have to go back to my tangent graph and look it's in blue yep but now it's coming down it's just gonna hit here because it's negative there's no asymptote here Whew, giving you a good demonstration of just how challenging this can be. Right about there. 
up it goes. And nearly forgot, got to dot it in. Because we still have to shift everything. And shift says to shift 3 pi over 2, which is off the charts. So I'm going to change this to, hmm, 1. And if I factor out a 2, that would be pi over 2. Otherwise, it's just going to be too hard. I think I would have thought more about these things before I do them. Nah, I guess not. 5 pi over 8. 3 pi over 2. Everything shifts over pi over 2 to the right. Still got a long way to go, don't I? Something's wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a... Uh, 3 pi over 4. This is pi. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pi over 8. And this is pi. Now we can actually shift everything pi over 2. This goes here. This goes, so that's one, two, three, four tick marks. One, two, three, four tick marks. From pi over four to three pi over four, that makes sense. Asymptote here. Dot here. Up and over. One, two, three, four tick marks. I already moved that. Dot here. It's extremely challenging work. All right, this is more complicated than most anything you'll see, but it's good. It's good to practice. That's about it for now. Good luck.